I seen you do an Instagram post with the caption underrated. Do you feel underrated? Even with the accolades and the platinum singles and mm. the history that you've put upon the rap game? Oh uh, yeah, I do. And and a lot of times I get it because uh, so many other people, you know, feel that way about me. They probably feel that way about me more than I feel that way about myself. And I really say that because, uh, you know, I've been here for for a while. Like, you know, I had my first big song in 2004. And a lot of the music that's going on right now to this day is music that I created, you know, maybe 10 years ago. You know what I mean? So I just hear my music just over and over and over again. Like people remaking the same music I've been making for the last 10 years. So when I say that, I'm just saying, you know, I'm referring to like I'm one of the guys that created, you know, so much of what's going on right now. But then I don't really get the, you know, the praise for it or the, or the acknowledgement for that, which is cool. You know, what I mean, because I think that's what has kept me around for so long is, you know, people not really. You know what I mean? Blowing me up or, or saying I'm the best producer or anything like that. So it's, it keeps me on a level where it's always room for me to grow. You know what I mean? Always, you know, room for me to get bigger. So, you know, I, I almost enjoy that. Enjoy the, the being underrated because it just keeps me around longer. I got to add to that too is the fact that when you think about Zaytoven on a producer, the type of producers that you see nowadays, you never see these dudes cook up. Like you never see these dudes like really go in the studio and just go crazy no more. You just see them come out of the blue and say, hey, here's a record. I did it last night, you didn't know. And that's like all of the producers nowadays. He is one of the only producers to this day that you can see go in the studio and make a beat from top to bottom with no pressure. Like he didn't think about it. He didn't, you know, there was no thought to it. It just came out and the motherfucker was a hit. So, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah true. Definitely. Authentic. Definitely yeah. plays a part. We don't have a lot of guys that can really do that now. That's one of the reasons yeah. I want to, uh, I'm having a producer count. Is to, you know, because as a producer, you know, I miss the fact that, you know, when I'm other producers, I can watch them sit there and make music and create, you know, be creative at, you know, they can s sit down and touch a keyboard or a drum machine, you know, and, and impress me. So, cause that's what I am. Like when I do music, when I get in the studio, I'm trying to impress everybody in the room. You know what I mean? Nothing premeditated. It just, you know, you know, everything is being created right then and there. So, now let me ask you this, okay? Cause I'm not a producer, mm -hmm. and some people watching this are producers, some aren't. Mm -hmm. But the way technology is, like you had mentioned, there's some producers that could cook up from scratch. Oh yeah, definitely. And there's some producers that just can cook up with the uh, touch of a mouse, mm -hmm. right? Is that a technology issue? Meaning, are they on the same playing field as someone like you because of technology? Or is it an uneven balance of a playing field because you can do it manually and cook up from scratch versus someone with the technology? Um, I mean, we, we're really on the same playing field. They just use different tools. You know, I never really would. I never really would down somebody on how they make their music, and cause I didn't see, I didn't sit there and watch them. You know, do it on the computer, and it's like, man, cause I can't. I don't do that. I can't do it. I never even tried to get into it. But so it's a different art and and form of what they do, and a, a different way of creating. So I respect that to the fullest, especially with them coming up with having the biggest song. You know, the number one song in the country, and they just made it right there on a little bit of computer. You know what I mean? Me just being a musician and a person of, of music, you know what I mean, is is just, you know, it's different for me. I I, I do respect, the, you know, I do have a high respect to, of a, a person that can sit there and make music, you know, right there in my face. You know, with touching keys and, and drum machines, it's just a different gift, you know what I mean, that comes with that. So, But I respect both, you know, but me personally, what I like better is the Sit there and watch somebody, you know, cook up with a drum machine and a, and a keyboard. Now, when we're talking producers in today's time, mm. if you could give me a percentage on how many can cook up in front of you, like you just described, mm. how many percentage could you say could actually cook up in front of you of, of today's crop of up and coming producers? Be true. No, I'm trying to be, I'm <laughs> trying to see. Uh, 
I don't I don't know. Well, let me say this. I don't know. I don't know many that can that does it the way I do it. Now I didn't seen them. Now guys can sit there and cook up. They can make a beat right there on spot. But you know, just using technology. So you know, it's a you know, it's still a high percentage of people that can do that. So it's just they don't do it the same way I do it. So I won't, I can't sit there and say that can't nobody make no beat right there. You know, on spot. Mm -hmm.